Composition is a way of combining two functions to make a more complicated function. And so it's a really useful way of using functions as building blocks to create more useful things. First of all, let's suppose we have two functions. We're going to let f of x be the function x squared, and g of x will be the function 2x. We're going to evaluate two different quantities. The first one we're going to look at is f of g of 3. What does that mean? Well, remember that when you have function notation, the quantity in parentheses is what you're plugging in. So I've got this function f, and I'm plugging in g of 3. So if I want to plug that into the function f, I have to first figure out what g of 3 is. And that means I have to plug this 3 in to g. So first, g of 3, that's 2 times 3, that's 6. And f of 6, right, g of 3 is 6. So I want f of 6. f of 6 is 6 squared, that's 36. So f of g of 3 is 36. Okay, so basically we're taking the number 3, we're plugging it into one function. After we get an output, we take that output and use it as the input in the next function. So let's use that same idea to evaluate g of f of 3. So this time f of 3 is on the inside. I need to evaluate that first. What's f of 3? Well, f of x is x squared, so f of 3 is 3 squared. And then I'm going to simplify that and get 9. And now I want to plug that into g. g of 9. Well, g of x is 2 times x, so g of 9 is 2 times 9. That's 18. And so I'm taking f of 3, figuring out what that is, and plugging it into g, and calculating that g of f of 3 is 18. So this is the idea. This is really what we mean when we talk about composition of functions. You're plugging something into one function and taking that output to plug into the next function. So this is what we just said. Given two functions, we can define the composition of those functions. And there's notation for this operation. It's this f circle g, which you might read out loud as f composition g. And it just means this expression, where you take g and plug it into f. And it's very careful to remember that order matters here. f composition g is not the same thing as g composition f usually. And we saw that on the previous example because f of g of 3 gave us 36, but g of f of 3 gave us 18. They were two different results. So we have to be very careful. Order matters here. Uh, basically, whatever function comes first in the f circle g notation, that's also the one that's on the outside when you write it in this more familiar form. So let's see if we can use this idea to evaluate a composition, f composition g of 2. So what does that mean, f composition g of 2? We're thinking of this as a function, and the way we evaluate it is to take g of 2 and plug that into f. So we can get these values by looking them up in the table. g of 2, that's going to come from the table for g. If I plug in a 2, this table says g of 2 is 4. So that's what we're plugging into the function f. And then if I use the table for f to evaluate the output when I plug in a 4, I can see f of 4 is 8. So that's it. f composition g of 2 is the number 8. Let's do an example where we are just working with the functions themselves, and we're not worried about any particular value that we're going to plug in for x. We're just going to leave x as a variable. 
evaluate and simplify G composition F. So remember G composition F, that's the function that you get by putting G on the outside and F on the inside. Okay. So what we need to do is figure out what this means. Well, G of something uses this formula. So if I'm plugging f of x into g, according to this formula, that's going to be the f of x I'm plugging in squared plus 3 times f of x. All right, so all I'm doing is using this formula for g of x, but instead of x, I'm plugging in f of x in order to evaluate this quantity. Now, I also have a formula for f of x. f of x is 2x plus 1. So instead of writing f of x, I can write 2x plus 1. All right, and now we're going to be able to simplify. So let's expand this 2x plus 1 squared. That's 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Uh, and then we can distribute here. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. 1 times 2x is 2x. 1 times 1 is 1. Distribute on the second piece as well. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. And then if I combine like terms, I have 4x squared. 2x plus 2x plus 6x, that's 10x. And 1 plus 3 is 4. So g composition f of x is a function, and this is the formula for that function. Let's look at another example. This time we're going to evaluate f composition g of a. So let's follow the same process. f composition g of a. What does that mean? Well, first of all, it means f of g of a. And g of a means we're going to plug a into the formula for g. So Everywhere we see a T, we're going to replace it with A. So I get F of A plus 2. Now I need to plug that into the formula for F, which is right here. So everywhere I see an X, I'm going to replace it with the quantity A plus 2. So there's an X in the numerator. That gets replaced with A plus 2. And then there's an X in the denominator. There's 2 times X, and I have to replace that X with a plus 2. Notice how I'm using parentheses here. That's a really good practice whenever you're plugging something in uh, to evaluate a function, especially when you're working with compositions. It's really a good idea to use parentheses wherever you're replacing the variable x. That way you can see that this 2 is going to have to be distributed both to the a and the 2 inside the parentheses. That's useful when we start to simplify, because in the denominator we get 2a plus 4 plus 1, and we can simplify that a little bit more. The denominator is 2a plus 